This is a quick video to show you some options for going live with the Atom Mini Pro and Pro ISO. So the Atom Mini Pro and Pro ISO have the option to stream straight to the internet over the ethernet port. And to set this up, first you have the Atom Mini Pro Atom software control panel. And under the output tab, you will see this live stream option. And this is where you can choose your live stream settings. And it's got the standard Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, and now Restream IO. But there's plenty of other platforms that aren't shown here, it's particularly Vimeo, Decast. So how do we stream to those platforms? So I'll show you. First of all, you need to find there's an XML file that needs to be edited. And this may seem a bit daunting, but it's pretty straightforward. So if you look in your Explorer, this may change, but it's under the Program Files, Blackmagic Design, Atom Switches, Atom Software Control, and this is Streaming XML. So if we open that, Got it in an editor. You can open it in any text editor. It breaks down all those options that are currently shown there. And it's quite easy to copy these to create a new one. So you can see all the options here. It's quite long. We will take this first one. We'll just copy Facebook and use it to make a brand new service. So I'll copy all the way between those two service tags. Copy. And we'll start a new one. So I'll call this one, this is going to be my Vimeo stream now. And so Vimeo will have its own RTMP link. So if I take that from Vimeo and put that in there. Now I can leave most of the same for now because generally those settings are okay for me. You could tweak these things based on your bit rate and stuff to try and get better stream quality. But right now I'm going to leave it as is just to set it up. And so I'll save this. Uh, because it is in a program files drive, you may not be able to save directly to it. So I'm just saving to another folder and then transfer it across. And then once I've saved it, I'll reload my Atom software, and once it connects, I now have Vimeo in there. I'll put in my stream key, and I can go live. I'm not going to put my stream key now. Um, another thing you might like to do is, rather, I've got a couple of clients that go to different Vimeo, so maybe I want to have a few different options based on which event is going live. And it's annoying to have to keep a track of all these stream keys. There is a way you can actually put the stream key directly in. So. I'll start another tag and I'll just call it key. And I'll save that now. Once again, I'll close that software, relaunch the Atom software again to see those changes. And when I switch back, so I have to switch it off and switch back on again, there's my key. And so what I could actually do is have multiples of these Vimeo accounts. So I'll st copy that, I'll add another one directly under it. I'll call this, give that test key two. And my other Vimeo stream, if I save that again and relaunch Adam once again, Vimeo, my test key, and other Vimeo with test key too. So I could build up this list with multiple stream keys saved in there for me. Another option is uh, Decast is another streaming platform. So I'll change this other Vimeo now to cast and so I can put in my 